gentlemen. So I'm going to give you an A for effort because I know that you're trying to be healthier, but unfortunately there are 10 healthy things that you're still doing wrong every single day. But the good news is that today, thanks to Pronamel, today's video sponsor, we're going to help you fix them. Eating fruits and vegetables healthy, but if you're not washing them and getting all the nasty, funky pesticides and nastiness off of them prior to eating, this is not healthy. Spitting on an apple and rubbing it on your jeans is not an effective way of actually cleaning it. The majority of the fruits and vegetables that you're gonna find in a grocery store, unless it says like organic, are gonna be having all sorts of pesticides and nastiness on them. And it's critical for you to actually wash them thoroughly with, in my opinion, soap and water and like a scrub brush prior to consuming them so that you are not eating all the nasty pesticides on this. Number two is lemon water, right? Very healthy, ready? for it not to be healthy, ready? Boop. The moment you drop an unwashed lemon into your water, now once again, we just covered this, gentlemen. You got all sorts of nasty pesticides on that lemon. And unless the restaurant that you're going to is like, oh, I'm gonna wash that lemon, which they never do, when they're like, would you like lemon with that? Say, yes, please, but on the side. I'm gonna give you a plate with your sliced up lemons, then all you do, grab your lemon, grab your water, right? Squeeze it in, get all the amazingness out, drop that. Number three is apple cider vinegar. There have been a lot of different reported health benefits of drinking a little bit of apple cider vinegar every day, right? But one of the problems is that certain people are actually some people, dumb people that aren't doing it right, are drinking it straight. When you drink it straight, it is way too acidic, way too harsh. It can damage your esophagus and definitely damage your enamel. You definitely need to dilute it. And the typical like dilution ratio is a few tablespoons to about eight ounces of water. All right, then you can enjoy. <laughs> it's, it, it takes a little getting used to, but you get used to it. Number four is your diet. For specifically the acidic foods in your diet. So when you eat a healthy diet, you know, you're eating healthy stuff that oftentimes does have a little bit higher acidity. And this acidity is actually causing enamel loss, not to mention sensitivity and yellowing. And so, come here. What are you gonna do? You're gonna stop eating healthy? The answer is of course not. You're gonna use Pronamel to help protect your teeth from enamel loss caused by an acidic diet. When you eat acidic foods, the acidity pulls minerals out of your enamel. Pronamel simply puts the minerals back where they should be in your enamel. Twice daily brushing helps to actively repair acid weakened enamel, not to mention it protects against the effects of acid erosion and keeps your teeth healthy, not to mention your breath super fresh. <sighs> Yeah, do you, do you smell? I wish you could smell because my breath is amazing. The other thing that is amazing about Pronamel, it's also going to keep your teeth from getting like super sensitive because Pronamel provides sensitivity relief and lasting sensitivity protection. And the Pronamel that I've been using also helps to restore your grill to its super dazzling white nature. Gentlemen, here's the deal. If you are looking to take your smile and your tooth's enamel game to the next level, protect your enamel for strong, healthy teeth with Pronamel. Enamel. So brushing our teeth twice a day is healthy, right? We all know that, but if you're not brushing properly, this is not healthy. The biggest mistake that people make when it comes to brushing their teeth is not brushing long enough. Gentlemen, it's two minutes. Gentle little circles, right? Moving all the way around your mouth. Two minutes. Don't rush this, gentlemen. This is your mouth we're talking about. It's super important. Now, another mistake that a lot of people make, brushing too hard or too, hold on. Brushing too hard or too aggressively is really bad for your teeth. It's also bad for your gums. Gentlemen, it's also the gums, right? They need to be healthy. But if you are routinely like really scrubbing and giving it the business, you can potentially risk damaging your gums, not to mention having them recede, which is bad. Yeah. <laughs> so is walking around with dried toothpaste on your lips. So make sure you rinse. Mm. Number six, we gotta talk, we gotta, we gotta talk about water. Of course. Drinking water, super important, super healthy. But unfortunately, there's been some research to show that there's a chemical in some of the plastic water bottles that we are using called BPA that is not amazing for us. So in a nutshell, BPA is a synthetic organic compound used in making a lot of plastic water bottles, right? Now, the problem with this is some research has actually shown that BPA, this chemical, which is an endocrine, I can't, endocrine system disruptor, is leaching into the water 
water we drink in and it's wreaking havoc on our body. The takeaway, instead of using plastic water bottle, use glass or metal. Seventh healthy thing that you're doing wrong is meal prepping. You're like, meal prepping? What are you talking about, Alpa? I thought that was healthy. It is healthy. But heating up your prepackaged meals in a plastic container is bad. Heating up a plastic container in a microwave is not exactly ideal because once again, you're heating this plastic and there are chemicals that are leaching into the food that you're actually consuming. A glass storage container is a much better option. It still like stores and stacks in the fridge beautifully, but when you're ready to eat, boom, you pop it in the microwave, you heat this bad boy up, good to go. The eighth healthy thing that you're potentially doing wrong is taking the wrong vitamins. Gentlemen, all vitamins were definitely not created equal. Some were created synthetic and packed full of synthetic ingredients. And what happens is they can pack a very high amount of milligrams into those vitamins, but your body has a very hard time digesting it and assimilating it. Instead, what I would recommend is take a whole food multivitamin. See the difference? Which vitamin looks more natural? <laughs> of course, right? The green one. And the reason is because they are using whole foods and whole food concentrates to derive the minerals and the ingredients in this multivitamin as opposed to this. The result is that you're going to be able to absorb a lot more of this than this. You should be looking for a multivitamin that says whole food or whole food concentrate on the label. They may be green, whoa, <laughs> they may be green, they may be like yellowish, they may be like brown, but the bottom line is this. If you are taking a synthetic vitamin, you are definitely not absorbing the amazingness that you could or should be from taking one that is better quality. Washing your face is healthy. Overly washing your face or being too aggressive with washing your face, however, is bad. So check it out. All right, so as you know, washing your face, it's critical, right? Twice a day, morning and night, to remove the oil, the dirt, the grime. But one of the mistakes that a lot of men make that do suffer from like excessive oiliness or breakouts is they wash their face more often. The problem with this is that the more you wash, the more you strip, the oils, the more your body will actually produce. The other super common face washing mistake that is absolutely not healthy for your face is using a washcloth too aggressively, right? Washcloths, they're fine. You just gotta make sure that you are nice and gentle, all right? You don't wanna use anything that is too harsh because when you do this, you're actually damaging that super delicate skin of your handsome face. And last, but certainly not least, the 10th healthy thing that you're doing wrong is exercise. Everybody knows that exercise is amazing, right? Well, here's the thing. One of the big mistakes that a lot of people make is having a one-dimensional fitness program. Having big, strong muscles is amazing and all, but if your heart and your lungs are weak, gentlemen, this is not ideal. Also, you might be super jacked and buff, but if you're actually not flexible, if your core strength is weak, guys, it is about a well-rounded approach. Not only do you need to lift weights, you also need to make sure that your heart and your lungs are strong and you are flexible. And on the flip side, you might be an incredible endurance runner and able to run like 27 marathons in a week, but if you don't actually focus and work your muscles and make them strong, you also are not having an ideal fitness program. Well-rounded, like my pecs. <laughs> I'm kidding, actually. Not kidding, whatever. Gentlemen, that's it. 10 healthy things that you may potentially be doing wrong. Something I'm definitely doing right is thanking Pronamel for sponsoring this video and keeping my teeth nice and strong.